Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be continuing on with our checkpoint system. So if you haven't watched the last video, I advise that you go ahead and do so using the thumbnail in the top left hand corner. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to be using the save game data that we created in the last video, where we essentially used the player to get the last location of where they was once they actually uh, touched our checkpoint point blueprint um, our checkpoint blueprint looking a bit like this basically what I've done here is just put a little small box in it just so we can see it in the world but it's still exactly the same it's a box collision and whenever we begin overlapping with that what it's going to do is cast to the third person character get the location set it to the location uh, check whether or not a save game exists if it does um, you know it's just going to load the game and then replace it if it doesn't it's going to create a save game object and put it into a last location but what we're going to be doing today is showing you how to actually uh, grab that information at the start of the level and essentially teleport them to the last location for your checkpoint so what I'm going to do is qu uh, show you a quick example so if I go ahead and press play you can see I start here but if I was to hit that checkpoint or this checkpoint let's go with this one it's all saved you're going to see that I now start over here instead of the corner and each time that I uh, pl press play on the level you're going to see it's going to keep on moving me over there or if I was to go ahead and hit one of the checkpoints up here and press play you're going to see it's going to spawn me up there and it's very simple all I'm doing is basically using that vector value to teleport the player um, on the event begin play so let's go ahead and show you exactly how you can do this so go ahead and open up your uh, player character for me that's going to be my third person character and all I've done here is added a little bit of script um, to pretty much on the event begin play so as soon as you start the level it's going to print a string for me that's just going to tell me it started and then it's going to load the game from the slot and I'm just going to use the same slot name as I did for all the other scripts if you have any problems with following this video like it doesn't work for example just make sure the slot name is exactly the same on your check uh, checkpoint blueprint and also on your character blueprint from there just sets the subclass custom my save game just so we can reference the last location variable we created and then we're just going to use the teleport node to get the player pawn and then just set a new destination location and just teleport it straight there so let's go ahead and show you how you can do this i'm just going to quickly delete all of this and we're going to start from scratch so if i press delete compile when we press play now, it's not really going to do anything. It's just going to use our default location for our player here. So, first things first, we need to get an event for begin play because we want it to load from the checkpoint as soon as the player gets into the level. So just go ahead and right click, type in event begin play and add that in. And the next thing that we need to do is pretty much load the game from the slot. So type in load game from slot and once again, just make sure your slot name is the same as it is everywhere else. So I'm just going to copy and paste slot name here and chuck it in there. And now that I've done this, I can actually set this uh, saver subclass. So you need to go ahead and create one if you haven't got one already. Uh, creating one is simple, just do it like I did in the previous video. Just create a variable, change the, uh, the variable type to save game, and then just name it whatever. So for me, I'm just going to drag this in and I'm going to press set. And I'm going to hook these up just like that, making sure I hook up the return value to the in over here. And under set uh, save a subclass, I'm just going to quickly cast to my save game. Make sure you're also using the name right for that. So go ahead and hook it up. And from this, we can now actually get the last location. So type in get last location. So now we can reference that and we can teleport it to wherever we want. So the next thing that I'm going to do is use the teleport node. But to actually get the teleport node, I need to get a ref uh, get the player pawn. So type in get player pawn, just right click. And then from here, just type in teleport. And now that we've done that, just go ahead and hook it up. And under destination location, just go ahead and make sure that you hook up last location to the destination location. 
So if I go ahead and press compile now and press play, hopefully it's now teleporting us to the new location. So if I go ahead and hit this one over here, you can see it has saved from the print string and I've got the new value, press play, and you can see it's spawning me straight over here and our checkpoint system is working perfectly. And each time I hit one, it's gonna change the new checkpoint location. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go over for this tutorial. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how you can uh, save game information from the player put it into a variable and then reference it for later use and hopefully this checkpoint system will come in real handy. So thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!